All right, so today what I want to do is show you how you can actually take those videos that we used for like Taste of Discovery and after we get them uploaded to YouTube, how we can embed them into our blog. And by embed, what we're talking about really is instead of sending people to YouTube to view the video, we're going to embed and put that actual video on our blog in a post. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to get the um, email that I sent out a little while ago. You got to open it up, the one that has all the links on it. That's going to be really important. The other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring up um, your blog. So I've got the Discovery Academy STEM blog here, and this is the one that I'm going to show you. So I've logged in, and I just go right to my dashboard. And when I get into dashboard, I'm going to go over to posts and then add new post. And here when I go add new post, I'm just going to give it a really um, a really easy to understand um, explicit title. So I'm going to say like Mr. Reed Swales video from Taste of Discovery. We don't really want to mince words. You know, we want them to know exactly what they're going to see in the post. Then I just give them like a one sentence like check out our video we worked so hard let's be honest they're not really going to read the sentences very much anyway if you put a whole paragraph they're probably going to ignore it and just click on the video um, that's the nature of video people want to watch it so press enter and then you're going to go over here and see how my little blinky cursor is down here i'm going to go over to the tabs over here and i'm going to go from visual to text and when I click on text, it's going to allow me to deal with the code side of this. See this and NBSP semicolon? That's a fancy text code way of saying space. So I go here, and I get myself set. Now I'm going to go back. Remember, I told you to have that window with the links up. And I'm just going to click on this link for one of Lauren's um, videos. So, oops. Oh, it doesn't like me anymore. Hmm. Let's go over here. We'll try this one. Let's see. Oh, it's still grumpy. Let's try. Hold on. So I'm going to go over to, um, I'm going to go back to my email. My guess is that I got a little beat up here with um, my, um, I think that it yelled at me because I haven't been logged in for a little bit. So we'll try and pull up the email again um, and see if we can get this working. So uh, taste of discovery. So here it is. There's the email again. Let's go here and, oh, it actually likes us. All right, so here's the video. Now let's pause the video and we're going to go down here. And instead of about, we're going to click on share. Now normally when we go to share, so you got Facebook, Twitter, all these great things like, what even is that? To, oh dear. And you can get this, um, this you are in the URL right here, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go to embed. So there's embed, and it highlights the code here for you. This is what I love about YouTube. They're totally cool with just giving you the code. So we right-click, and we copy. Then we're going to go back to our post. Remember, and NBSP semicolon, and we right-click, and we paste. And there it is. There's your iframe. Everything's there. We've got our thing. And we go back from text to the visual tab. And in the visual tab, you're not going to actually see the video. What you're going to see is you're going to see a little placeholder here. And so you go and we tag it. We tag parents. We tag video. You'll remember from working on the blog that tagging is a way for your end user to really be able to use it well. And I'm just going to go save draft here. I'm not going to publish it because the poor people who actually read the STEM blog, they don't need to get like seven test posts from me. But I'm going to go instead to, say, the pre-K blog. And you'll see that the pre-K teachers have actually gotten their videos from this uh, Taste of Discovery up. So remember when I told you there'd be like the little placeholder? This is what the video looks like when it's on your page. And it's great because they're all the same size. So they look really nice and regular and efficient. And, and it really just kind of gives that professional look to the blog. And so when we go here, we just scroll down. I'll try this one. So watch, we click play. And as it comes and loads, it plays. And we can, we can even go to full screen, which is the great thing. So even when we're there, somebody can see the full screen part of the video. They click back. And you'll notice we're still on the blog. We haven't sent someone away. And that's really what we want to do. We want to get everyone bringing their things to our blog so that they're spending more time on the blog looking at the things that we want them to as opposed to going out to YouTube, going out to Prezi, going out to lots of other places. So that's how you embed videos into a post on your blog.